Good day and welcome to this video on career development. Ever wonder if your personality matches your career choice? Personality describes the type of person you are. The way you behave, feel, and think is unique to you alone. Research has found that our personality plays a big role in achieving job satisfaction and career success. Different personality traits have their own set of advantages in the workplace. For example, extroverted people are more likely to thrive in sales or public relations due to them being socially confident and enjoy being in large social gatherings. Whereas introverted people are more reserved from socializing with many people. They tend to fare better with independent and analytical tasks like accounting or software development. Having self-awareness in our personality will enable us to have better working relationships with our colleagues and peers leading to career success. What can we do to gain self-awareness of our personality? How can we match our personality with the right career? One way is to take psychometric tests to measure our cognitive ability and knowledge. This allows us to know our personality types. PSB Academy makes available the identity personality assessments to all our students and graduates. In this video, we will introduce what identity is all about and the personality traits that are measured in this profiling tool. In identity, there are 16 personality traits and 8 personality types. Through this, we would know which career suits our personality more in a career recommendation report that is generated when we complete the test. Let us take a look at the 16 personality traits which are analyzed in identity. And this is where we get to understand our likely strengths and potential challenges. For more in-depth reading and understanding of the different personality traits, do join us in our workshop. Let's look at the two personality traits. First up, sociability. This refers to your interaction with people. Are you extroverted or introverted? When you score high in sociability, you enjoy meeting new people. People high in sociability have an extensive network of friends to tap on. If they are not the ones invited to the party, they are the ones organizing it. When you score low in sociability score, you are likely to be shy. You take the time to approach new people and usually resist taking those first steps. People with medium score still meet with new people, but not as much as those with high sociability score. They will still network if needed be. Next, we look at quality. Quality describes how perfectionistic a person can be. A person high in quality makes everything perfect. They are perfectionists. There is a tendency for them to get their work right the first time or refine it over and over again. A person lower in the skill tends to be not too demanding. While a competent piece of work will be submitted, there may be errors which were missed out by someone lower in the quality traits. Identity shows that there are no good or bad profiles. A high score on a particular trait does not mean it is good and neither does a low score means it is bad. It teaches us that everyone is unique and how we can work well in our jobs and with others in a team. You will also get to know which of these 8 identity personality types you are. This is determined by your dominating traits or traits that you have scored highly in. Each personality type has its own characteristics. The eight personality types are networker, carer, expositor, professionist, organizer, craftsman, investigator, and artist. Each personality type has its own unique characteristic and it is based on the key traits. Some career choices suitable for each different personality types are also recommended at this stage. For example, if you have high sociability trait, you are likely to be a networker who is outgoing, approachable, and everyone's good friend. Jobs like sales, hospitality, public relations, and marketing communications are most suited for networkers because of their ability of interacting with many people. A person like Richard Branson is a good example of a networker. The biggest strength of a networker is that you are good at bringing different people together and connecting them. You can, however, be more selective when it comes to having people enter your inner circle of friendship. As you can see, different personality types comes with different set of perks and shortcomings. The identity profiling tool is designed to help us adjust our behavior at work, play to our strengths, and improve on our weaknesses. This allows us to have good relationship with co-workers and ultimately 
lead to career success. Graduates can use this to work on their strengths and weaknesses to better prepare themselves for the challenges ahead. Through this, you get to discover your identity and who you truly are. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this video and found it useful. For more in-depth and detailed coverage, do join us in our workshop. Feel free to reach out to us at Career Services and Engagement Team at PSB Academy. Thank you and all the best in your job search.